That's not January 6th either. That's July 27th. That is in Portland. And that is Antifa rioting and pillaging our country. Well, hot damn. <laughs> That's not January 6th either. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I want to thank the witnesses for being here. I really appreciate your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, when parents begin exercising their right to question their local school boards during the height of COVID, uh, amid mass mandates, woke curricula, and harassment in schools, how did the DOJ respond? The Department of Justice responded at under Merrick Garland with directing the public to report threats of violence to school board members, officials, and workers in our national public schools to a national hotline. One particular case, a mom was reported to the hotline uh, as a threat because she was A, a conservative, and B, she was a lawful gun owner, like myself. The complainant alleged that the mom was a threat because she belonged to a right-wing group known as Moss for Liberty, and I have a real problem with identifying people like this because it's your right to belong to whoever you want to belong to, and that's your freedoms. Another investigation opened because a tip to the hotline, a, a dad was investigated uh, because according to the complainant, the dad fit the profile of an insurrectionist. I don't really know what that means, but it's, that's interesting. And he had a lot of guns and threatened to use them. Yet when the FBI asked about the complainant about these threats from the dad, the complainant admitted that no specific information or observations or any crimes of threats. According to the FBI, not one of these school board-related investigations resulted in federal arrest or charges, not a single one. Recently, the DOJ announced that they were going to continue to prosecute people from January 6th to the tune of around 1,000 more people to be charged in the not-so-distant future. Now, January 6th was over two years ago, and the DOJ is still looking to charge more people. Yet, when there is a true domestic terror threat like Antifa, the DOJ did not direct people to a national hotline, nor did they report these threats to our communities. Now, my colleagues on the left will tell you that Antifa doesn't exist. It's an idea. Uh, but I, my question is, is, where is the intellectual curiosity to determine how Antifa, a highly coordinated domestic terrorist organization, is funded and organized? The DOJ did not set up a hotline for Antifa. They set up a hotline for you. No federal resources were set aside to investigate the violence that we saw unleashed across this country during the summer of love in 2020. Please note some of these photos. That's, wait a minute, that's not January 6th. That's May 31st, 2020. That's right in front of the White House. That's where the president lives. And at the time, President Trump was ushered into a bunker because his life was being threatened. Where was the hotline? Next photo. <laughs> That's not January 6th either. That's July 27th. That is in Portland. And that is Antifa rioting and pillaging our country. Where was the hotline? Next slide. Well, hot damn. <laughs> That's not January 6th either. Those are more rioters that are destroying and rioting in Salt Lake City. Next slide. I believe, that, is that it? We're, we're, <laughs> but wait, there's more. And that's not January 6th either. That's, that's June 1st, 2020. And that's the streets of DC that are being rioted and pillaged, and pillaged by, by, by rioters. Where's the outrage? Where's the hotline? This is what domestic terror looks like. This is not a school board meeting. There is no hotline for any of these riots, and we are going to have a hotline that's going to report parents for caring about their children's education. And even further, the DOJ would rather investigate a thousand more people from January 6th than any single person in these photos. What a shame. And that is why this is no longer the Department of Justice. It is the Department of Subjective Justice. And with that, I yield back.